Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 71st commencement ceremony for Western Governors University. Graduates, families, and friends, thank you for joining us as we celebrate this special occasion. Our ceremony is being recorded and streamed live all over the internet. A special welcome to all of our online participants joining us across the country and around the world. Please silence your cell phones, but keep them nearby, as there will be an opportunity later in the program to share your achievement on social media. Please stand for the processional and remain standing for the national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. We'd like to thank Angie Kilhauer from Nashville, Tennessee, who is graduating with her Bachelor of Science degree in Marketing Management for performing our national anthem this morning. Angie's doing double duty today. She'll also be speaking a bit later on. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor to convene the 2019 WGU commencement in Cincinnati, Ohio. My name is Rebecca Watts, and I am the chancellor of WGU Ohio. On behalf of Western Governors University, we welcome our graduates and guests. It's a special day. We congratulate you on competing one of life's greatest achievements. We'd also like to extend a special welcome to David Simmons, president of Simmons Media Group, who serves on our National Board of Trustees, and WGU Ohio Advisory Members Dan Molina, President and CEO of CenterGrid, and Lisa Gray, President of Ohio Excels. We also extend our warmest welcome to the many family members and friends, some 4,500 strong, who are here to support their graduates. In addition, we want to recognize and welcome the many graduates who together with their family and friends are watching this event via our live webcast. Graduates, it is likely that today would not have been possible without friends and family at your side. Would all of you, the friends and families of our graduates, please stand. Our graduates and we are grateful to you for all you have done to support their pathway to success. At WGU, we often have family members graduating together. Would those family members please stand to be recognized? It is truly a special occasion to see these families share these moments together. WGU is honored to be recognized year after year as a military-friendly university. We would like to recognize the military members who are graduating. Would the graduates who are, who are active duty, reservists, and veterans please stand to be recognized? Thank you for your service to our country and to each of us. And last but not least, if you, our students and alumni, are the lifeblood of this institution, then the faculty and staff are its heart. With you today are many of our WGU faculty members and employees. If you've benefited from the time and dedication that they put into serving students, 
please join me in recognizing and thanking them. <laughs> 22 years ago, WGU was officially founded. 20 years ago, WGU enrolled its first student. The university has now more than 140,000 graduates. Since our last commencement in February 2019, 6,822 students have completed bachelor's and master's degrees at WGU. Today, we recognize the achievements of 647 graduates who are attending this ceremony in Cincinnati. Among these, there are 351 receiving their bachelor's degrees and 296 receiving their master's degrees. You represent 40 states and military installations overseas. Of the 647 attending today, 116 are from the great state of Ohio. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. It is our privilege to be among all of you and among those who are here in support of you. Let me share some additional facts about our graduating class. 40% of you are the first in your families to go to college. We extend a special congratulations to you. Your average age is, yes, first gen, yes, absolutely. Your average age is 38, the youngest is 18, and the oldest is 76. Seventy percent of you are women. The average time to graduation for those of you earning a bachelor's degree was two years and four months and the average time for those of you earning a master's degree was one year and seven months. It's inspiring to look at all of you and to consider your achievements, knowing that you've juggled many priorities and faced many challenges along the way. You are the reason we have gathered here, and for all of us at WGU, the reason we believe in the importance of our work. Today's commencement celebrates you, our graduates, for setting and accomplishing a significant goal and moving to a new stage of your life. Since you join only 33% of adults in the United States who hold a bachelor's degree, and fewer than 9% who have earned master's degrees, much will be expected of you as you continue your life journey. You will take leadership roles in your businesses and your communities. Education is the greatest predictor of career success. You worked hard to attain an educational milestone that will change the course of your own history and influence future generations. You've aspired to greater things. Thank you for letting us at WGU play a part in the fulfillment of your dreams. Now I'd like to welcome President of WGU, Scott Pulsifer, to the lecture, who will introduce our keynote speaker, President Pulsifer. Graduates, families and, families and friends, it's so great to be with all of you. You truly are an inspiration, not just to us at WGU, but to everyone in your family and your friends. Thank you so much for achieving this great accomplishment in your lives. I'm pleased to introduce our commencement speaker today. Jay Timmons is president and CEO of the National Association of Manufacturers and chairman of the board of the Manufacturing Institute, the National Association of Manufacturers Education and Workforce Partner. The National Association of Manufacturers is the largest manufacturing association in the United States, representing small and large manufacturers in every industrial sector. Jay is a leading advocate for more than 12.8 million men and women who make things in America, educating the public and policymakers on issues that affect this critical industry. He promotes an agenda to strengthen U.S. competitiveness Improve the, improve the lives and livelihoods of American manufacturing workers and build the modern manufacturing workforce. Jay is driven by the values instilled in him by his roots in the manufacturing town of Chillicothe, Ohio, where his grandfather worked at a mead plant for nearly four decades and where he witnessed manufacturing's ability to raise the quality of life for families and communities. A passionate advocate for the adoption of companion animals, Jay served for seven years as the chairman of the Washington Humane Society Board of Directors. Jay attended the Ohio State University and resides in McLean, Virginia with his husband Rick and their three children. 
and it has been my privilege to serve with Jay on the American Workforce Policy Advisory Board over the last few months. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jay Timmons. Well, good morning, Night Owls. Do me a favor, be rowdy during this. This is your day, and I want you to enjoy it. And I want to extend my congratulations, congratulations to this graduating class of Western Governors University. It's a culmination, this day is a culmination of your hard work, overcoming doubts, and plowing through roadblocks. You have earned the right to be proud today, and I'll repeat it again, you've earned the right to be rowdy. <laughs> now listen, I love that name, Night, Night Owls. It sums you up so perfectly. While everybody else was asleep, dreaming, you were hard at work making your dreams a reality. So President Pulsiver, Chancellor Watts, WGU leadership and family, and friends gathered here, thank you so much for the chance to celebrate with you all today. Most of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to be back home in Ohio. As the president said, I was born and raised in Chillicothe and also Circleville, about 100 miles from here. And I know we have graduates from all across the country, but I'm an Ohio boy, so tell me, who's from Ohio? Let's hear it. All right. President Pulsifer gave me a very kind introduction, but some of you are still probably wondering, who the heck is this guy? And I think that's a fair question. As President Pulsifer said, I lead the National Association of Manufacturers, and our job is making sure that the people and the elected officials in Washington, D.C., are focused on helping manufacturers here in Ohio and across America create new jobs, raise wages and benefits, and invest in our communities. We are the voice, as he said, for the more than 12.8 million men and women who make things in America. Part of our mission is helping more people join the modern manufacturing workforce. These jobs are high tech, high paying, and almost half a million jobs in manufacturing are open today. In fact, we're gonna have about 4.6 million jobs that we have to fill over the next decade. A few months ago, the White House and the U.S. Department of Commerce formed the American Workforce Policy Advisory Board, and it's a task force to help educate people for the jobs of tomorrow. CEOs of America's top brands are on it. So are some of the most innovative thinkers in education, including, as he indicated, your own President Pulsiver, as I am. And that's how I know him, and I ended up here today. I think it says a lot about the stature of your school that when the White House and the Secretary of Commerce assembled this team, they tapped the president of WGU. This institution, yeah, that deserves applause. <clears throat> because this institution commands respect at the highest levels of government. By receiving a WGU degree, you will command respect in the job market. This is not your traditional college, and that's what makes it great. Other schools force you to adapt to, to their demands. This school adapts to your needs. This is a trailblazing institution, and, and you are trailblazing graduates. As you heard earlier, nearly 40% of you are the first in your family to go to college. So was I. Angie and Reyna are going to share their inspiring journeys to this day, but each of you, each and every one of you has your own story. Maybe you were told that you'd never make it. You're working full time, you have kids, how could you possibly get a degree? Maybe you heard it from a coworker, maybe even a friend. Well, you proved them wrong. And many of you set a powerful example for your kids along the way, many of whom we're hearing here, and by the way, I love that sound. Keep, keep uh, these kids focused on this activity and show them what the future is all about. Because it wasn't easy for any of you. Life, life has a way of interrupting our plans. I should know. I did attend The Ohio State University, and then life interrupted. 
I never finished my degree. And back then, <laughs> there was no such thing as the internet, and I didn't have the opportunity to participate in this type of non-traditional academic setting. So by the way, there's another accomplishment. You're more credentialed than your commencement speaker today. Any employer is going to be lucky to have you. And you're fortunate to be graduating into one of the strongest job markets in, in generations. Do you realize that right now there are actually more job openings in America than people looking for jobs? That is going to inure to your benefit. If you're looking, I do hope that you will look at manufacturing. We need people. We need IT people. I think we have some IT grads here today. We need IT experts. With robotics and artificial intelligence, modern manufacturing is synonymous with connected technology. We need business minds because we're growing, hiring, and expanding. And we need young people educated in STEM. Do we have future STEM educators with us here today? Yeah, come on, come on, I know you're there. The, the educators are always, you know, they're just, they're just, you withhold your emotion. You can't do that here. <laughs> when you're teaching science and math, the future of manufacturing, it's the backbone of the American economy, and it's in your hands. So thank you, and thank you, WGU, for being a top producer of STEM teachers. Whatever your career path, you are positioned for success, and I know that because you've proven that you don't let others put limits on you. So keep it up. Don't let anybody put you in a box. Break the mold. Neither your past nor other people determine your future. I mean, I'm an Ohio farm boy. Now I go to policy meetings at the White House. And I got to tell you, shoveling manure in a barn and working in Washington, D.C., they don't have much in common. <laughs> Maybe just a little. <laughs> Today, I lead meetings with CEOs in boardrooms. But if you asked a classmate what I was like in high school, well, you'd probably hear dork or nerd. I was actually so cool that I carried a briefcase through the halls when I was 15 years old. <clears throat> now trust me, in high school, that does not make people picture you sitting in a boardroom. Kind of makes people picture you jammed into a locker. <clears throat> My point is, I, <clears throat> I don't fit into anybody's box. For the record, I didn't fit into that locker either. When I was just 31 years old, the governor of Virginia asked me to be his chief of staff which meant leading people more than twice my age. Cabinet officials were walking into the office and they wondered if I was the chief or if it was bring your kids to work day. I didn't fit the mold. Today I'm married to a great guy named Rick. We have three beautiful kids, but some people still look twice at our family because, again, we don't fit into their box. In life and work, there will always be doubters and self-doubt. But you are already mold-breaking leaders. You've defied the naysayers, so keep celebrating your own story. Own it, use it for good, and be your authentic selves. Now, commencement speakers are supposed to offer inspiration for the graduates. But as I look around, and I see all of you, and I see those of you who have served in our military or who are serving. When I see somebody who's adopted our country singing our national anthem, I am so inspired by all of you. And all I can say is keep it up. I will, however, ask you to do two things after you leave here today. First, remember this feeling this feeling of accomplishment. The future is going to bring more challenges. There's no doubt about that. Don't let fear or self-doubt hold you back. You've seen what you're capable of. Remember what success feels like and, and let it power you. Let it power you through the tough times. Second, be the difference maker for someone else. 
pay it forward. There was somebody in your life who encouraged you along this journey, maybe a parent, a spouse, a friend, your WGU mentor, or maybe that still small voice that scripture speaks of. Thank them today and be a source of support when they or somebody else also needs it. And finally, channel your talent for the good of this country. We live in an exceptional nation, a nation founded by people who also, who also dared to think differently. But our nation will only have a bright future if leaders like you make it so. Today we're being tested from the outside and from within. Other countries are, are challenging our leadership. At home there are forces that are dividing us. And there are Americans, there are Americans who feel that no matter what, they just can't get ahead. We must do better. Businesses, government, and engaged leaders just like you, you affect what happens in Washington with your voice and with your votes. And America needs you to stand strong for the values that make America exceptional, free enterprise, competitiveness, individual liberty, and equal opportunity. From public corporations to private citizens, we can't just be in it for ourselves. Our society is stronger when it's about more than bottom lines and bank accounts. America needs all of us, all of us, to heal the divisions in our society and uphold those core values. This country is at its best when we think innovatively. Who better than students of this trailblazing institution to, to lead the way? So ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with those three simple requests. Remember what success feels like. Be a difference maker for someone. Be engaged citizens. And if you maintain the work ethic that, that brought you this far, there is no doubt you will have successful and rewarding careers. You will keep making your friends and your family proud. And night owls, you will soar above the competition. The saying goes, the early bird catches the worm. But you know who catches the early bird? The night owls. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, that's really pretty good. You're like, who catches the early bird? Yeah, the nine owl. <laughs> so, the, uh, hey, Jay, you know, it's never too late to finish that degree. I might know a university that could help you out. <laughs> so. Thank you again, and uh, now we have the pri privilege from hearing from two of our graduates. They are Raina Moore, Master of Arts Teaching Science Education from Payne, Ohio, and as you already heard, Angie Kilhauer, Bachelor of Science Marketing Management from Nashville, Tennessee, who also sang our national anthem today. Please join me in welcoming first to the lectern, Raina. Life is full of choices, like ice cream. You have to try many different flavors to see what you like. Some may like chocolate peanut butter and some may like lemon and blueberry parfait. Just like ice cream, I've tried many different career paths before finding what I was meant to be, a high school science teacher. In 2008, I graduated from Wittenberg University with bachelor's degrees in theater and interdepartmental science. After graduating, I worked in higher education, promotional marketing, and toured the world as a theatrical technician. When my husband and I married, I left life on the road and took a position in banking, but I always wanted to continue my education. After my daughter was born, I quit that position to spend time at home with my baby and finally get my master's in teaching. I was excited to finally utilize my science degree work in a position where I could make a difference, and to make my mother proud by following her in her educator footsteps. 
With Baby at Home, WGU's program was the perfect combination of affordability and flexibility. And less than 18 months later, I am so excited to receive my master's and become a certified science teacher. After this long, rocky road, I am finally confident that I am qualified for the best position for me. In my final term at WGU, I was listening to the radio on my drive home after completing my second week of student teaching. The show's host was talking about some survey he had found that listed the top 10 most useless things taught in school. He began to list photosynthesis, the periodic table, mitosis, the rock cycle, osmosis, parts of the atom. You can see how this was a little disheartening to someone who had almost completed an entire master's curriculum and was almost a certified high school science teacher. Well, this wasn't the first time that I'd heard something like this. It happened nearly every day in my freshman biology classes. I will never, ever use this again in my whole life. <laughs> and why, oh why are you making me learn this? I am wasting my time. The following week, the class was completing a DNA mutations and codon fun sheet. Fun, it was right there in the title. It must be true. <laughs> My students started to understand the concepts and complete the fun sheet and decipher the secret message at the end. And I was so proud of them and said, now don't you feel accomplished that you were able to go through all those steps to find the right answer? Of course, one student piped up. What a waste of time. And it hit me. I looked at her and I said, how do you know you like chocolate ice cream? She stared at me. I said, until you tried it, you had no idea that you would like it. And that's our job as teachers, to expose you to as many experiences as we can. So by the time you graduate, you have a sense of what you like and don't like. So you're able to make informed decisions. She said, well, I know I don't like this. I'm going to be a cosmetologist and do models makeup. So I told her, it is good to know what you like and it is just as good to know what you don't. You may want to be a cosmetologist, but don't you hope someone likes chemistry so much that they become the chemist that formulates the products that you'll use? And don't you hope somebody likes math so much that they'll become an architect to design your makeup studio? And don't you hope somebody likes physics so much that they become an engineer and build a faster, safer airplane for you to jet off to Milan in? It is absolutely okay to not love everything. I'm just asking you to give other flavors of ice cream a chance. This fall, I will begin my journey as a full-fledged science educator, and I look forward to introducing new flavors into Ohio's bright young minds. Oh, that was so good. Also made me hungry for ice cream. <laughs> Crazy. You're totally crazy. That's what I was told when two years into my college education, I decided to drop out and become a singer-songwriter. I still vividly remember calling my parents and telling them the great news. Hey, mom, dad, uh, I'm letting go of my scholarship, dropping out, and I'm gonna sing and play guitar. They were super stoked. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> they were very, very scared. <laughs> uh, to give you a little background, my parents, I never there. my mom's probably sobbing right now. Um, they are the hardest working human beings I've ever met. Uh, when I was 11, they moved my sisters and I from El Salvador to the United States. They sacrificed so much, left their home so that me and my sisters could have a better life and access to a world-class college education. The privilege and opportunity of living in this country isn't lost on me, but the longer I spent on the traditional college path, the less I felt like it made sense for me. I kept having to turn down amazing opportunities on the road just so I could make it to every Monday lecture at 9 a.m. 
So I did what any 19-year-old would do, and I gave up my dull dome room life for a exciting, glamorous life on the road. And I was in for a rude awakening. <laughs> my first tours consisted of bars, house concerts, and small venues from the Florida Keys all the way to New York City. I loved sharing my music with the world, but I very quickly found myself struggling. I would go from sold-out show to sleeping in my car on the way to the next show. I didn't know things like cash flow and accounting or how to invest back into what I was doing. I started to revisit the importance of finishing my education, but I didn't think college was an option because I didn't want to sacrifice the momentum I was building on the road. It was around that time that I finally heard about Western Governors University from my mom. At almost 60 years old, and while working a full-time job as an elementary school bookkeeper, my mom decided to go back to college and get her degree from WGU. Now you're really gonna make her cry. <laughs> crazy, you're totally crazy. That's what she was told, but still, every morning she woke up early and stayed up late every night. I still remember kind of peeking around the corner and seeing her in the dining room table at almost midnight. All of her notebooks sprawled across the table, her bedazzled reading glasses <laughs> sparkling from the glare of her laptop. Like many of you in this room, celebrating a graduate, I was deeply moved by her determination. It was that day that I decided to finish my degree at WGU. So fast forward a couple years later and she graduated. I wiped tears from my eyes realizing that every excuse that I ever had to not finish my education, I won't have time, I already have a job, it'll be too hard, it's too expensive, I'm not smart enough. All those boulders that I thought were in my path were smashed by someone who had the guts to look up. I think so many people in this world are stuck looking down. Sometimes it just takes one person to point at the sky that all of a sudden your horizons have been broadened further than you could have ever imagined. So here's a little bit of the plot twist. Two months after I finished my first semester at WGU, I found myself staring directly into the faces of Blake Shelton, Adam Levine, Christina Aguilera, and Pharrell Williams. I had made it on NBC's The Voice. As I eagerly chose Team Blake, of course, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, the commitment I made to a degree was definitely not the first thing on my mind. Still, every week I'd get that same trusty call, if I'm being honest, voicemail, from my mentor. <laughs> Always with the same cheery voice. Hey, Ange, it's Rocky. Sorry I missed talking to you, just checking in. How's the uh, fundamentals of business law going? <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, though memorizing legal jargon felt really out of place while simultaneously preparing for a celebrity-filled singing contest on primetime television, uh, it was that class that gave me the confidence to actually read the 50-page contract that I had signed. I was able to actually figure out a marketing plan for how to release an album once I was off the show. And the second I came off, that plan is what enabled me to have my first top 10 album on iTunes. <laughs> While finishing my degree here at WGU, I've also been able to check off a couple of amazing dreams. I was able to release a song for Disney. Um, I've toured all over the US. I've uh, just finished a stadium tour opening for Jake Owen. But like I learned from my mom, it's not the accomplishments that we achieve, it's the community that we inspire in the process. So the next time someone tells you you're crazy, you're totally crazy, I'm here to tell every one of you, damn right we are. <laughs> we are not typical. We're a force. This is not a room of people who do not know what they want. Every one of you has a purpose for being here, whether it's in the smiling chase, face of your child, uh, the dream of your very own classroom like Reina, uh, the desire, or maybe like me, their desire to share your art with the world. Whatever it is, it's so powerful. Your purpose is powerful because when you work for your purpose, I truly believe it will always work for you. Today is proof of that. So the next time someone tells you to settle, remember sitting in this room. The next time someone makes you feel like backing down or giving up, remember sitting in this room. And the next time someone tries to define what is possible for you, remember sitting in this room. Congratulations, graduates. We did the dang thing.
Thank you so much, Raina and Angie. Uh, first of all, uh, Angie, you can feel assured that having already had two of my children go through the age of 19, I don't know any 19-year-old who knows about cash flow. So, <laughs> second, uh, I do want to give a shout out to Angie's mom. Let's hear it for Angie's mom for like just inspiring her. So. And let's give a shout out to all of your moms and dads and friends and everyone else who encouraged you to get to this point in your lives. <laughs> Lastly, I want to say to Rocky and also all of our mentors, uh, I'm so grateful for those calls that you extend to every single one of our graduates and our students. I can imagine that Rocky's call may have gone with Angie a little bit like this, though. It's like, so anyway, I saw you on the voice last night. Um, <laughs> I just have a few tips and comments, uh, but before we get to that, let's talk about business law. So that would be an interesting uh, conversation, but I'm grateful for all those regular dialogues that each of you have had with your mentors. Uh, as you well know, that uh, we have endeavored at WGU to try to design a university that uh, feels like the whole of it is exclusively for you. Uh, this institution currently serves over 115,000 full-time students. But that is 115,000 individuals, that every single one of you is unique. And we endeavor to create an institution that is adaptable and personalizable to you, so that you can be successful in whatever endeavor you pursue. At this point, we will now recognize our master's degree graduates. Would the candidates for master's degrees please rise, including those of you watching this by webcast, wherever you may be. <clears throat> Upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and members of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree you have earned, you have earned to include the Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, or Master of Science, with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations and welcome to the Community of Learned Professionals. Please be seated for the moment. The following are the leaders from each of our colleges who will now present the diplomas to our graduates. Jim Franklin, Academic Programs Director, College of Business. Dr. Jan Jones Shank, Academic Vice President, College of Health, Prof Health Professions. Dr. Elke Leeds, Academic Vice President, College of Information Technology, and Dr. Christina Deller, Academic Programs Director for Professional Offerings, Teachers College. Our master's graduates wear a hood bearing the color of their discipline. Please join me at the lectern, Jim Franklin. Will the graduates from the College of Business, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually? Cayman Jimenez. Julie Hill. Jennifer Molbarger. Javier Ortiz. Karen Hall. Latoya Hart. Cami Luann Beal. Amber Hanners. <coughs> Derek Buckmeyer. 
Mary Andrick. Tony Thur. Brandon Heron. Robin L. Reese. Jennifer Pappas. John Wood. Benjamin Moore. Tim Hogan. John Sylvie. Jose Ibanez. Bianca Moore. Robert Roof. Margaret Stown. Amber Garcia. Lawrence Evans. Mark King. Julie McCormick. Hassan Almarhoun. Donna Pompinio. Yeah. Kevin George. Allison Dennegan. Nicey Janet Woods. Oyemi Salal. Ryan Jenkins. Brett Connard. September Murphy. Heather Dillinger. Barbara Broom. Gina Fetty. Jamise James. Janet Lees. Eric Payne. Lisa Abbott. Laura Howard. Sally Fritz. Gayla McLean. Lakila Kaur. Joseph Fabio II. Melinda Busmeyer. Jeremy Collier. Stacy Donnelly. Alexis Posikowski. Tiffany Singleton Williams. Amanda Webb. Richard Basso. Latasha Williams. LaDonna D'Souza. Todd Para. Candace Highland. Julia Bartlow. Sarah Radican. Eddie Dulce. Cynthia Jenkins. Jama Mohammed. Stephanie Johnson. Judith Ellen Looney. Zacharias Nigatu. Erica Marchwinski. Jen Miller. Brian Langley. La Honda Sparksman. Daniel Brown. Jacqueline Banks. Bryce Wilson. Marianne Christine Sproul Davis. Jamal Gibson. Leslie Collins. Lauren Scanlon. 
Sarah Patrick. Summer Gardner. Christy Walker. Christopher Coffey. Donna Taylor. Roger Johnson. Amanda Settle. Justin Schaefer. Caitlin Smith. Lindsay Larson. Donye Scott. Kristen Dunbar. Miriam Mirza. Erica Carr. Christopher Allison. Riley Olson. Danielle White. Dwayne Jones. Keenan Muma. Tara Ormsby. Stacy Garrett. Bridget Chiamba. Meredith Southern. Jennifer Reese. Matthew Roberts. Justin DeGroat. Sherry Dowell Klein. Spencer Powell. Anya Weaver. Joey Minton. Shannon Stanberry. Craig Humbles. Janelle Jackson. Tamara Morgan Walters. Tracy Mack. Chris Walters. Summer Havron. Jennifer McFadden. Keisha Clopton. Jenny Guadalupe. Congratulations, graduates. Graduates from the College of Health Professions, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Brenda Stevens. Brenda Gray. Gina Bryant. Jean Dietz. Leilani Bautista Worley. Elizabeth Arsino. Michelle Rudman. Herman Thomas. Grace Poteet. Amy Wilkins. Cynthia Overstreet. Deborah Drazich. Ira Hicks. Jessica Farrar. Laura Day. 
Cecilia Fala Brown. Brittany McCarty. Kelly King. Catherine White. Mandy Covert. Kayla Leonard. Andrea Beaker. Brenda Williams. Brittany Hughes. Jennifer Jones Hunter. Melanie Cramber. Stephanie Kendricks. Ashley Barrett. Donna Stout. Brooke Morton. Rebecca Wiesner. Roxanne Wooten. Jasmine Abrams Allen. Jamie Cornwell. Marguerite Samponia. Linda Azakyu. Kim Burney. Sean Coutain. Deborah Julius. Faith Bailey. Terry Asse. Scott Clapp. Brianna Bennett. Tina Grace. Andrea Cita Vercella Silvestre. Katie Rowe. Samantha Dush. Heather Moya. Nicole Lugering. Tracy Kinese. Thomas Gallagher. Ashley Kuiper. Susan Mickey. Martha Dillon. Nevada Owens. Marie Antoine. Rhonda Evans. Taylor Blue. Helen Noah Beliski. Mary Crone. Erica Gerardo. Bradley Bennick. Michelle Horton. Nicholas Street. Christina Macklin Flowers. Sheldon Sumner. Celeste Strinka. Monica Hudson. Courtney Scroggins. Amanda Anderson. Leslie Way. Patricia Gagno. Lucy Sluggins. Caroline Wawaru. Eleanor Dashna. Erica Brown. Danica Bowman Baumgart. Danielle Clegg. Brianna Simmons.
Nancy Dennington. Atia Bolden Hanna. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates from the College of Information Technology, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Gregory Nass. Joseph Jones. Brian Gordon. Lawrence Atkinson. Trenton Oosley. Calvin Parker. Crystal Kirkendall Piper. Maurice Adside. Jamil Shabazz. Christopher Foderick. Christopher Campbell. Robert Carlyle. Francis Kalapurikal. Joshua Kirk. Joshua Sturm. Sunday at Atona. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates from the Teachers College, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Jody Bolowski. Nicole Walji. Amy Burge. Courtney Matthews. Oretta Jarrett Dean. Esmeralda Ibanez. Crasimira Hansard. Harry Ott, Kristen Bookstein, Kennedy Cochran, Emily Lowry, Sarah Basham, Candace Blackwood, Robert Holt. Ashley Trocht. Stephanie Sanders. Taylor Smith. Kylie Rodriguez. Corey Wolf. Bryce Ormiston. Abigail Weitzel. Anna Dutton. Danielle Snow. Carrie Ann Christiansen. Lucian Reed. Lindsay Adams. Emily White. Megan Wilson. Karen Reimer Noland. Sarah Burgess. Valerie O'Daniel. Diana Tucker. Kendra Burkett. 
Catherine Hill Kasenyi. Jamie Brown. Kyla Lewis. Brian Matheny. Sarah Duncan. Benita Curtis. Amy Frilo. Nancy Dennington. Patrick Baker. Carrie Marie Skinfill. Sabrina Curry. William Green. Sarah Still. Abigail McRoberts. Keisha King. Kristen Woosley. Sarah Todd. Casey Noller. Kelly Knight. Renee Gallagher. Erica Stoy. Sarah Doherty. Brittany Boland. Raina Moore. Congratulations, graduates. Let's hear it one more time for our master's graduates. Congratulations to you all. We will now recognize each of our bachelor's degree graduates. With the candidates for bachelor's degrees, post-baccalaureate degrees, and teacher preparation endorsements, please rise, including all of those who, who may be watching via webcast, wherever you may be. <laughs> upon, upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and Member Governors of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree or endorsement you have earned to include the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, or the post-baccalaureate teacher preparation endorsement with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. You may now move the tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side. Congratulations, our graduates. I again welcome to the lecture and the leaders from each of our colleges who will present the diplomas to our graduates. Jim. Will the graduates from the College of Business, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Angela Metz. Jaina Barber. Kimberly Bryant. Douglas Montgomery. Rebecca Dial. Jenny Schiavone. Nathan Reed. Carrie Owens. Terrence Wagner. Jennifer Doty. Abigail Fitch. Jesse Williams. John Dill. Sarah Underwood. Ainsley Hutchison. Kenneth Bialka. Sydney Bishop. 
Ryan Harris. Adam Aldrich. Kevin Abner. Debbie Thompson. Crystal Reed. Joni Snodgrass. Stephanie Jeffries. Angie Kilhauer. James Fingerhut. Daniel Hansen. Amy Propovich. Mary Kathleen Duncan. Sarah Beal. Lori Poppy. Rihanna Jennings. Jeffrey Shaver. Carrie Allen. Grace Straw. Shaylee McLean. Annette Beitzel. Clint Medgerly. Daisy May Draper. Samantha Sizemore. Stephen Yukmanowitz. Melissa Hammond. Jamie Lane. Brent Walker. Mallory Wachowski. Timothy Goff. Benjamin Mazik. Elizabeth Lukens. Christopher Veach. Caitlin Scales. Holly McQuarrie. Chris Schroyer. Trisha Howell. Sa Shannon Sook. Matthew Monahan. Brandy Rubke. Trammell Waddell. Keith Metzel. Simone Oosley. Brian Palmer. Minakshi Malik. Jeffrey Varney. Miranda Calvin. Stephanie Edwards. Jonathan Gardner. Asia Morrison. Pam Kamanda. Tiff Tiffany Marksbury. Ryan Collings. Christopher Lockhart. <laughs> Haley Carroll. <laughs> William Richards. Lelania Little. Mark Dion. John Hunter Curtis. Donald Lanningham. Sange True Love. Olga Arbello. Christina Johnson. Helen Foster. Sarah Ogra. Amy Whipple Coffin. Brisney Stewart. Trisha Shoemate. Christina Roth. Sarah Mode. 
Carla Cower. Angela Weber. Rebecca Abordishade. James Millis. Kamisha Turner. Amy Bikret. Jill Yoder. Martha Heidenreich. Stephanie O'Cooley. Michael Crouch, Jr. Corey Strasko. Connie Sue Anderson. Tanya Hammond. Heather Lynch. Phyllis Miguel. Latanya Russell. Kathy Floyd. Derek Wheeler. Christina Hardner. Marcus Ellison. Maya Dixon. Walid Salah. Michelle Hammond. Jonathan Lovin. Kelly Carrico. Congratulations. Will the graduates from the College of Health Professions, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Gayla Livas. Amal Muse. James Reinersman. Carrie Churchill. Ruth Scheid. Celeste Hernandez Morales. Andrea McCroskey. Marjorie Adams. Maselyn Cha. Cynthia Smith. Kelly Sumney. Lori Steiner. Lindsay Drummond. Norman Webster. Doris Holliday. Emily Johnson. Melissa Jones. Christina Bauer. Stephanie Lynch. Wanda Pulliam. Demetrius Kiriopoulos. Jill Diaz. Christopher Leibold. Maria Isabel Moreno. Janet Harvey. Amrit Gill. Shannon Eberts. Krista Newbold. Tasha Mooring. Stephanie Aviles. Jennifer Smith. Christy Preston. Melinda Helton. Mandy Nemeth. 
Stephanie Presley. Jessica Shackelford. Sue Ellen Nokel. Courtney Unger. Veronica Birch. Kayla Rangel. Randy Carly Blakely. Christina Armstrong. Marinda Mitchell. Shelby Helmick. Nikita DeGraffenried. Chanel Murphy. Misha Peterson. Nora Lunga. Diana Akinsuyinu. Courtney Pike. Mary Rudsari. Rebecca Coffin. Jennifer James. Sarah Tallarico. Amanda Castleman. Kelly Brill. Ayana Russell. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates from the College of Information Technology, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Jennifer Reese. Matthew Schellinger. Matthew Hubbard. Jesse Willette. Cheryl Day. Robert DeRook. Christopher Gilbert. Chris Gump. Matthew Redmond. Omar Alcasey. Patrick Rowland. David Finch. Kyle Howard. Eric Foster. Jonathan Prey. Paul Torres. Farid Elian. James Graham. Ronnie Perry. Benjamin Shelton. Michael Dine. Richard Miller. Mike McDonald. Benjamin Alexander. Augustine Eziashi. Andrew Fields. Matthew Holland. David Chupp. Keenan DeAndre Cook. Robert Wilkerson. Andrew Perkins. Jeremy Pletcher. Anthony Rodriguez. Tracy Russell. Daniel Creed. 
Gavin Wade. Patrick Grady. Roger Hacker. Clark Antone. Robert Bauer. Eugene Neal. Tanya Nash. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates from the Teachers College, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Margaret Myers. Mercedes Blanton. Jennifer Luckart. Jennifer Sickmeyer. Samantha Dingwall. Kelly Cambray. Jennifer Bautista. Sunny Corbin. Hannah Sopko. Latari Julianne Sample. Megan Klein. Jessica Downs. Kimberly Wilhelm. Kelly Garlinger. Melissa Scott. Courtney Ryan. Shannon Nass. Courtney Heinerman. Robert Malloy. Amanda Ogle. Rachel Mays. Jessica Murphy. Julie Adams. Kaylin Bonnet. Brooke Thurman. Dana Garrett. Adam Frederick. Lauren Legrand. Mercedes Moore. Kristen Burgoyne. Linda Renee Zahner. Brianna Ackinger. David Robinson. Ashley Johnson. Jessica Williams. Patricia Doyle. Lauren Bebout. Teresa Andis. Allison Tegel. Timothy Richmond. Brooke Hancock Golesic. Jessica Kowalski. Rachel Yates. Tiffany Grindstaff. Jennifer Simpkins. Julia Anthony. Steve Dahlheimer. Damon Jackson. Heather Conway. Carrie Smith. Carrie Johns. Nicole Neese. Sonia Smith. Casey Holbert. Heather Jakowski. Kimberly Jetter Puckett. Paige Vales. 
Sarah Brock. Holly Ramey. Glenna Bethel. Kelly Shipley. Amanda Berg. Anam Ali. Margaret Sintron. Eileen Marie Doss. Deborah Sabin. Miranda McBride. Nikki Murba. Ashley Green. Diana Wheeler. Fatima Rizwan. Sherry Beachon. Amanda Shepherd. Mia Roebuck. Lacey Ferreira. Lourdes Belmares Ramirez. Ginger Newton. Brittany Hinkle. Jennifer Bartling. Jacqueline Schneider. Congratulations, graduates. Let's hear it one more time for all of our graduates, masters and bachelors. Congratulations, everyone. All of us at WGU are so very proud of you, and we welcome you into our community of alumni, now more than 140,000 strong. For many of you, earning your diploma is the fulfillment of a lifelong goal. Your degree will provide new pathways to opportunity and to help you fulfill your full potential. But it's, in report, it's important to remember that commencement is not the end. It represents a new beginning. I encourage you to explore your dreams, dare to discover, and follow your passions, whatever they may be. And whatever you choose to do, do it as well as you possibly can, and great things will follow. I hope that through your experience at WGU, you've made, a lifelong lear you've made lifelong learning a habit of both your heart and mind. I urge you, like Angie's mother, to reach out to others in pursuit of their dreams. Identify meaningful ways to contribute to, to your communities and to your neighbors and help us find our way as a united country to a brighter pathway for our children and our children's children. Now, consistent with the sign of the time that we live in, let's celebrate with a selfie. So all of you, I'm certain, have a phone in your pocket or somewhere on you. Let's pull that out. I'm gonna invite Jay up here with us as well as Chancellor Watkins and we're gonna take our selfie with all of you in the background. You can do the same, so feel free. We'll get you in the middle there. You've got the longest arms. I've got the sure. longest arms. Sure. So. <laughs> One more. Awesome. Congratulations. Remember, as you, uh, we encourage you actually to share all of this on social media. And just as you do so, we invite you to use the hashtag WGUGrad. This now concludes our commencement ceremony. And please remain seated until our graduates have filed out. Thank you so much, and have a great day.